McLaughlin Point is the site for the wastewater treatment plant, and it has been zoned to allow for it, but that zoning includes a long and expensive list of conditions Esquimalt wants met. A CTV's Aaron Glacier reports Esquimalt wants millions of dollars in community improvements to try to make the stink over sewage treatment disappear. Talk to anyone in Esquimalt and they'll tell you Citerra is little more than a pretty name for an issue that's gotten ugly. What people want and, and what we're going to get may be two different things. Whether you make it a lovely name or whether you use wastewater treatment plan, we all know what it is. They know what it is and where the CRD wants to put it at McLaughlin Point. That zoning is in place. CRD can move forward with zoning in place, uh, provided they, they work within those guidelines. But the bylaw also includes a number of conditions, amenities the community wants the CRD to pay for. Part of it is politics and negotiations, um, but there is a need to think ahead. Bylaw 2806 requires all construction materials to be barged to the site to avoid traffic congestion. It also includes a long list of lasting benefits for the community, including parkland, bike lanes, and improved lighting on nearby streets. The mayor says the people of her community have spoken. They won't shut out a sewage treatment facility, but they do expect something in return. Uh, sometimes they're being painted as being a bit obstructionist, in fact, they are not trying to do that. They are trying to make this the best plan. The CRD is in negotiations with Esquimalt, and both sides say while they won't discuss the terms publicly, they are close to a deal. But here in Saanich, it is a different story. The municipality says it likely won't ask for much more than upgrades to the road to Heartland, where the biosolids facility is slated to be built. And that has people here questioning why not. Why shouldn't we? Exactly. Spend a bit more on cosmetics uh, rather than just having a bunch of tanks and pipes. Tomorrow, the Core Liquid Waste Management Committee will review a report that will address Amendment 9, looking for alternative options for the biosolids plant at Heartland. Less cement kilns, willow copus, maybe more idea around hopefully some of the technologies. The CRD has confirmed three firms are bidding to build a treatment plant at McLaughlin Point. The deal must be signed by April in order to break ground on target in the summer of 2014. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Esquimalt.